Hey everybody, welcome to Brick Hive and welcome to this new week in review. I appreciate all of you being here. So to start the uh, week in review off, I just got a, well actually I just got two packages. So let's uh, let's go check them out. Okay, so this first one is a BrickLink order uh, and it's basically just the pieces I needed for the ballast of the train tracks. Um, you know, I just, I try and shop around with the BrickLink orders and you know, try and help as many people as I can out with their stores. So I know what that is, but this is the one I've really been waiting for. So uh, <laughs> I am very excited to open this. My dear friend, Lauren, also known as Brightest Witch Bricks, Brightest Witch Bricks, sorry, I can't seem to talk today. Um, but she hooked me up with the Luke's lightsaber uh, gift with purchase. Um, I mean, obviously, I, you know, I paid her for it, but um, but she really, really hooked me up. She she sold it to me for an extremely low price, and um, I, I I just I, I thank her so much. It, it, I know it sounds maybe silly to a lot of people because it's just a toy, you know what I mean? But it's a very expensive toy. It's worth a lot of money, um, and she could have sold it and got a lot of money for it. And instead, she reached out to me and asked me if I wanted it because she knew how badly I wanted this thing. So, thanks, Lauren. You're a, you're a true friend, and I appreciate you. And all of you should definitely go over and check out her channel. She's a really good person, and I highly advise you to become friends with her. So, let's go ahead and open these. I'm going to open up the Brooklyn one first. We'll save the best for last. All right, let's open up this BrickLink order. I mean, I don't remember it being tons and tons of stuff. I, I'm taking it slow. Oh, look, I got a sticker too, isn't it nice? Love me some stickers. So yeah, you know, go go check out the BrickLink store. But yeah, some more stuff for the forest. And then all this stuff is stuff for the ballast and the train tracks, which I'll show you when I start making a video about it. Um, I'm pretty sure I showed it on the uh, Rebuilding the Forest video and probably in one of the vlogs already. But yeah, these are all pieces that I need. Let's... Let's open this up. Oh, look at her. Oh my goodness. Because I told her Mrs. Hive actually was buying it for me as a Christmas gift. And look what she did. She wrapped it up. <laughs> and I am not unwrapping it. Not until Christmas. So, Luke's lightsaber's in here though. Mmm. Cannot wait. And again, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lauren. Thank you. Got a lot of stuff. What's your hats? 15 bucks? I might get a hat, man. We'll, we'll come back. Okay, so these are really nice shirts and they're very reasonably priced. They even have stockings. I don't know. I 
see if we can find any deals. See what they got going on. Black series I've been seeing lately. Lando Calrissian. I'll tell you, Grogu. He gonna be selling for a long time. And yeah, He-Man making a crazy comeback. Put Captain Solo in the cargo hold. I don't know. What if he doesn't survive? I don't He's worth a lot to me. He's no good to me, Okay, just got done with Good Morning Brick World, number 104. God, I'm such a slow builder. I still didn't finish this bird. <laughs> I mean, I'm on my last bag, but I just, I talk a lot and I stop building and not paying attention. It's just how I am. But it was a great stream, it was a fun stream. Um, I mean, I always enjoy Good Morning Brick Worlds, obviously. Um, but there are going to be a couple changes to Good Morning Brick World. Um, I decided we're going to have a co-host. And the co-host is going to be a Doc Sampson. Which a lot of people have already told me, even when I first mentioned about getting a co-host, they already thought. Doc would have been a perfect fit. All right, we're gonna make uh, the show two hours from uh, nine to, uh, to, wait, no, 10 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. I think it's gonna be so good for Good Morning Brookwold that, I, I don't know, I, I can't explain it. And it's not like I don't have other guests on, but I really wanted to pick somebody to just literally be a co-host with me. Um, and you would always see all right, so we're going to look at some decorations that Mrs. Hive has been putting up. So we put the tree up and the lights on the tree, but we haven't got decorations on yet. We'll be doing that tomorrow. Yeah. Happy holidays or Merry Christmas or whatever other thing you say. It's the most magical time of the year. Oh yeah, there you go. She turned off the porch light so you can see it better. It's like probably be better if you turn off the porch light. Yeah, you know, it, it does look a little bit better. Here's our wreath. Very pretty. And then the tree. Look at that. Look at that tree. I hear a duck. There's a duck out there somewhere. Yeah, our neighbors do. They they got some pretty some pretty cool decorations up. I don't know what that is. What is that? That's a Santa. I guess. I'm not sure. It's hard to tell with this camera right now. Yeah, it looks great. So, I put in my two weeks notice at work today. I will make a more elaborate video on that situation later. Um, not too much later, I'd say probably about within a week, something like that. Um, cause there's a lot more involved and, and when I say elaborate on it, I don't mean like, I'm going to just like talk a bunch of crap about my job. Cause I'm not going to do that. That's, you know, that's not what it's about, but, but I have to acknowledge the, the strain and what has 
and, and what that has done to my frame of mind, my mentality, just my body, like just because yeah, it's it's been pretty crazy. So, but yeah, I, I um, I, yeah, I, <laughs> it's just weird, you know what I mean? Because it's not even just um, that I put in my two weeks notice at my current job, but I'm. I'm kind of just switching my whole my whole career over right now. I mean, I've been pretty much, well, I mean, I've been in management now for, gosh, I mean, I think about maybe seven years. Um, but before that, I was, you know, a tech. And I've just, I've been in this same industry for a very long time. And, uh, like I said, I'm just, everything's getting ready to get switched up. So for the better though, um, you know, obviously I have to do what's best for me and it's definitely what's best for me. So like I said, I'll make a more elaborate video explaining more about what I'm talking about. Uh, like I said, sometime this week, but yeah, change is gonna come. One of the great things I love about having a forest city, that kind of thing is <laughs> it's just, I'll randomly just set up these situations or scenes like right here <laughs> these uh these creatures of the forest are getting ready to see a pretty pretty crazy fight about ready to get to go down between five dogs and a black panther <laughs> my money's on the black panther <laughs> I'm sitting right next to the wood stove. It's so warm. I have just been digging through boxes for just all kinds of just random pieces to put in the forest. Cause I've just been doing a lot of definition in the forest in the last few days. Obviously working on the train tracks or the ballast for the train tracks, I should say. So the dirt path is done, you know, it splits in two, uh, you know, going to Winnie the Pooh's house and uh, the other one goes to the blacks blacksmith's house. Um, and then the, the, the path goes straight up the middle. Uh, goes past the cherry blossom tree. Like, anyways, I'm not gonna get too much into it right now. This is a week in review. I'm getting ready to film a Rebuilding the Forest video, part three. So, kinda got a lot done. And then I can talk about the future plans and what I'm gonna do next. So, the brightest switch bricks AKA Lauren uh, gets a second mention in this vlog this week in review because she had gifted this to me at Brick Fair, Virginia. Like she got all of us gifts because she's a very nice person. And she got me this Christmas ornament. Freaking, are you kidding me? Imperial Probe Droid. Right, right, right. So uh, yeah, I went and grabbed it because, you know, Christmas tree um, but check this out this ornament set is an exclusive or event exclusive and one of 3200 um, so it doesn't seem to be sealed let's see if it's sealed it does not seem to be sealed But man, look at the detail on this thing for a Christmas ornament. Nice. So, big shout out and thank you to Lauren for 
getting me this awesome Christmas gift. So, um, it doesn't come with a string. Interesting. <laughs> he cracked me up. The keychains that I've been collecting are, do I dare say important to me? I, I don't know why I love them so much, yet I can't do anything with them, but I have now found a use. The new tree ornaments look great. These are some beautiful looking bricks. I left a tag on this one. And of course, one of the coolest Christmas tree ornaments of all, Imperial Probe Droid. And of course, we have a lot of Christmas tree ornaments on here. And a lot of them are special, you know, things that uh, Mrs. Hive got. I think Mrs. Hive actually has gotten a Christmas tree ornament like every year, like her mom sends her one. We've gotten one for each new house that we bought together. We got one from when we got married. I just can't show them too up close or anything because names and stuff like that. But yeah. We do love our Christmas tree. So I'm heading to the dentist again. It's been two weeks since I was there and they did all that crazy stuff to my mouth. Uh, I don't know exactly what he's gonna do today. I mean, I'm really got my fingers crossed he's gonna take these stitches out of my mouth because I've never had stitches in my mouth. I've only had stitches once in my life anyways and that's when I was a little kid. Um, so I don't know what the procedure is about how this goes about. I thought that they used like a dissolvable thread and it would just dissolve but it hasn't and as a matter of fact now some of it's come loose and they just have like some thread just like hanging and it's very very annoying so anyways I'm hoping he's gonna take care of that I know I'm gonna have to get an implant um, but I have a feeling that's not gonna happen today because I feel like that's a lot more intricate work I mean I'm pretty sure they literally have to put like a screw into my jawbone but I, I don't know. I, again, these this is all new stuff to me, so I'm just not sure. Uh, but yeah, heading to the dentist. Um, it's really weird since I put in my notice, you know, my two weeks notice for work. Um, and I'll be making that video, you know, talking about that whole situation. Um, not next week but the week after. I, I need to be done with work before I make that video. And again, and I've mentioned this before, I'm not gonna like trash talk my job or anything, but I, I just don't wanna talk really about my job until I'm done with it. So, um, but yeah, I am gonna make a video just describing kind of why I'm making that video because a lot of people might be like, Oh, you know, so you got a new job. Like, why would you make a video about that? But the reason I'm going to make the video is because of just how much of a toll this job has taken on me. Um, whether it be not be able to fully commit to doing stuff to my channel like I used to, to my physical health, to my mental health. And I've just never experienced anything like what I've been going through the last year. So, you know, like I said, I just wanted to make a video just kind of to give everybody an update on what's been going on um, with me and the channel. And there's a couple other things too I want to update as far as like a channel update goes. So, so that'll be coming soon. I will say for being uh, the middle of December, it sure is a nice day out. It is 64 degrees out. It's sunny. Like, what is going on, man? Okay, just got done with the dentist. 
Um, yeah, he took care of the threads, the stitches for me, so that's great. Um, said everything is healing really good, also great. So here's the part that kind of sucks. So I can't get the implant for four months. He says like, got to give time for the bone to heal or something like that. Um, I, I, I guess he means maybe when they took the roots out, but I, I don't really know. I'm not a dentist, I'm not a professional, so I don't know exactly what he means. But what I do know is even though he said I can chew on this side of my face fine, it's still really awkward chewing without that tooth there. Um, so that's interesting. Um, also, I stopped and got me an iced coffee here at the Dunkin' Donuts uh, next to the dentist office. And it's a Dunkin' uh, slash Baskin Robbins. And they had a, a pop in there. So I went ahead and picked it up. Um, not necessarily because I really wanted it. I mean, I've seen a bunch of these. They have actually a whole bunch of these little marshmallow Stay Puft guys um, from the new movie coming out. But I just figured this might be a nice little investment piece because this is the only second pop that Baskin Robbins has ever put out. I actually have the first one too, which is a Stranger Things pop. But yeah, I just saw it and I was like, yeah, you know, it's not like it's that expensive. I was like, let me get pick it up and... I, I looked on the the market and these things are going for about 35 bucks or so, just depending on where you get it. So I was like, you know, I'll just go ahead and buy it. And um, I don't know, I might sell it right away. I might hold on to it. It's hard to say, but I just thought it was a nice little investment. Cool. All right, well, I'm heading back home. I've got a... Uh, Rebuilding the forest part three video update to finish making and um, Yeah, so hopefully I can get that finished up and have that out tonight. So made a lot of progress as a lot of you have seen watching this vlog All right, that's gonna do it for this week in review Hope all of you uh, are doing well and staying safe and have a great day or night and I will uh, See you on the next one Peace out everybody